What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today we've got some very important news regarding the iOS 11.2 and above jailbreak. So guys, share this video with everyone you know because this is super important. Alright, so we've got some great and fantastic news for you guys who are stuck without a jailbreak as you did update to the latest Apple iOS firmware. So a new jailbreak looks very, very promising. So a guy known as Russ Cox, a security researcher, he found a kernel exploit that works on iOS 11.2 through 11.2.1. And again, this is a kernel exploit, so as soon as he releases it to the public, it might be turned into a fully-fledged jailbreak, and that would be really, really awesome. So it allows arbitrary code to be run, and for jailbreakers, that's good news. So on Twitter, Russ Cox was asked if he would release his kernel bug that he sent to Apple. So he did send it to Apple, so it's going to be patched in later firmers, but again, it supports iOS 11.2 through 11.2.1. But anyways, in response he tweeted yes we'll tweet a link when i do but he then followed up with this tweet honestly not that interesting you'll be disappointed but that is still awesome as this tweet right here says too i mean it's a kernel exploit as soon as it hits other people's hands who knows what they'll be able to do with it and it might turn again into a fully fledged jailbreak again this is a kernel exploit so that is awesome in itself there's probably many more exploits to be discovered that have not been patched in the firmware this may also lead up to those being discovered all right so guys a new kernel exploit was discovered but what's the catch now again this only supports ios 11.2 through 11.2.1 so guys listen carefully this is the important part since it only supports that firmware if you guys are in 11.2.2 11.2.5 or 11.3 just anything above 11.2.1 you do want to go ahead and downgrade to be safe and ensure that you will get a jailbreak if it is released or should i say when it's released so guys this is important do this as quick as possible because Apple will stop signing iOS 11.2.1 and below. So once that happens, it's game over. You will not be able to downgrade and your chances of getting a jailbreak will be heavily heavily minimized so guys 11.2.1 is the golden firmware if you want a new jailbreak and if you are on anything above that like my device i'm on 11.2.2 over here as you guys can see but if you are on 11.2.5 11.3 i'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade right now and again do this quick okay so first things first you will need a computer mac or windows doesn't matter and you want to go ahead and plug your device into your computer via the lightning to usb cable and there we go. All right, so guys, here we are on a computer. And now what you want to do, and by the way, this wallpaper, I kind of made it. It's a Justin Maller wallpaper, but I kind of modified it. Let me know what you think. You'll be the critic. But anyways, let's go to open up our browser. And you want to head over to this website. And again, guys, do this quick. Now over here, you want to go and select your device. So for me, I have the iPhone. And from here, I'm going to go and select the iPhone 10. Okay, so I believe I have the global version. If one version does not work, then just going to try out a different one. So I'm going to go and use global. And over here, as I can see, all these firmers are currently being signed. If they have the green check mark, you are basically in the clear. But if it's in, over here in the red now, then that means Apple did stop signing it and it will no longer work. Game over. So again, from this list, you do not want to select 11.2.5 or 11.2.2 because those do patch the exploits. So you want to go select 11.2.1. That's where we're going to be downgrading to. So again, 11.2.1 and go ahead and hit download. Simple as that. And this will take some time to download as downloading the entire firmware. Oh, and by the way, while we're waiting, I forgot to tell you guys about this detail. But Coolstar, the developer of the Electra jailbreak, he tweeted this on January 16th. For anyone on 11.2.x, stay there. Although a new exploit is required for 11.2.x, most of the patches in Electra will work on 11.2.x. So as soon as a jailbreak is released for 11.2.1 and below, Electra will be working. So you'll be able to install Electra jailbreak and all your favorite tweaks just like that. Anyways, let's go and wait for this to finish. And it is done. So all you want to do is simply put on your desktop. So I'm going to go and do that real quick. And here, crap, here we go. So it's like that. And now it's very easy to access and you don't need your internet browser anymore. So I'm going to exit out of there. And anyways, now all you want to do is open up iTunes and you guys will see that update button. Make sure you're on your device. So now if you are on a Windows computer, hold down the shift key and click on update. Now if you're on Mac, hold down the option key and click on update. 
Now I am on Mac, so I'm gonna hold down the Option key, click on Update, and this will pop up right here. I'm gonna simply navigate to my desktop, and there is a file that we downloaded for 11.2.1. .1. Simply click on Open, and that is it. Hit Update, and this will downgrade you back to 11.2.1. .1. Kind of ironic, huh? But anyways, hit Update. And yeah, this will not erase any type of data. All your files, your photos, your apps will stay intact. Only thing that will be different is that you'll be downgraded to 11.2.1 .1 so that you can get that glorious jailbreak once it's released. Anyways, now it's extracting the software and soon it will prepare for the update. It might say this right here, enter the passcode for your iPhone. Simply go ahead and type in your passcode if you do have one and hit continue and it will proceed with the downgrade. So now your device will reboot and you will see a loading icon shortly. And yeah, your phone will be downgrading. Just going to be patient. This will take a little bit of time as it's putting a whole new software on your device. But again, you will keep all your data and files. So don't worry about that. Just be patient. Have a little mocha. You know, just crack a cold one open. Boom. Let me put that in frame. Holy crap, those are addicting. Might as well pop an Altoid. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. That's not very good with coffee. Oh well. Anyways, you guys can see that loading icon again, or that loading bar. Just gonna wait and be patient. I'll be back. All right, so your computer will come up with a prompt saying that your iPhone is just starting. And once you see the Apple logo again, you will see the little loading bar. This will go by a little bit faster now. The entire process after you have the file takes between 10 to 15 minutes usually. Okay, so now we are on a lock screen. Pretty awesome. So again, guys, share this video with everyone you know, quick as possible, because if they do want to jailbreak, they do have to downgrade. And after the signings period is over, they won't be able to downgrade. So again, do it now. Don't wait. As always, hope you guys enjoy this update. As always, I will keep you guys fully updated. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It does really help out and support the channel. I'm the Hackspot. Peace out.